says, you can't do that. We're going to counter-retaliate against you, and we're going to impose it on a whole range of other products. The way we entered the Depression back in the early 1930s, uh, if you recall in your history books, is originally from Smoot Hawley, which was a bill that was passed by, I don't know if it was Senator Smoot and Senator Hawley or Congressman Smoot and Congressman Hawley, but that was a, a piece of legislation that was passed in Congress which imposed uh, import uh, tariffs on a wide range of products being imported in the United States. And then those countries retaliated and we retaliated against them and they retaliated against us and it brought us into the Great Depression. Well, that is maybe over-dramatizing what could have happened, but it potentially could have. I mean, certainly it would have been at the expense of the world economy, and that's something all of us can least afford. So, uh, fortunately, they were able to come up with a successful conclusion to the negotiation. The sanctions went away, and the last ad that we ran was the thank you note in USA Today and in, I think, the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, and Roll Call thanking them for having saved these jobs. So once again, kind of following up and giving them the praise that they deserve for having been able to find a solution to this problem. So we, we had to work it both from a PR standpoint to be able to get public support in the United States and in Japan, but particularly in the United States to put pressure on the administration to want to find a political solution because much of this was political. And I think um, also in Japan, we attempted to ratchet up the pressure uh, on those entities talking about the devastation that would take place uh, to their distribution systems for those products if, in fact, sanctions were imposed. And I don't think those back at Toyota, Nissan, and Honda in Japan understood that. I think once they did, they said, hey, we better get down to business. Let's begin pressuring our own government to come up with a solution. And I think ultimately that's the reason why a solution I uh, was able to